In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use the Polaroid Maker brushes. When you first come into the brush set, you'll notice that there are six tapes, there are five push pins, there's one thumbtack, there's three different frames and three different shadows. So you can choose any type of combination that you would like with any of these, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to set my background color to a light pink, that way you can see everything better on screen. And then on this very first layer, I'm going to switch my color to a white and grab my frame. You always wanna start with your frame and then build on from there. I'm going to grab the standard Polaroid frame and just stamp on screen. You do wanna pay attention to the brush size. I have mine set at 30% and just tap with your finger and then you'll have a full opacity frame. Next, we're going to add in our shadow. So I'm going to create a brand new layer and drag this underneath the frame layer. So that's the order that you'll have. You'll have the shadow, the frame, and then the attachment, whether it's tape or a pin. So on the shadow layer, you always wanna choose a darker color. I, I usually choose black, so just double tap where the black is. And then I'm going to return to the brushes and you have three options to choose from. So let's try the first one. So grab that one. This is really important. You wanna make sure whatever size brush you were using for your frame, you wanna use the exact same size for your shadow. So since I knew that I used a brush size over here of 30% for my frame, I wanna make sure before I stamp my shadow on the screen, so this one is also set at 30%. And then just tap with your finger. And we've got our shadow. So now I'm going to select it and you can move it right into place. So this shadow extends beyond the corners of the Polaroid and you can slide it up as far as you would like it to go, depending on how much shadow you want right in the middle. I like having a little bit right showing right there. And then you can see there's a subtle transition of that shadow right behind the frame where it disappears. And now the shadow is all set and now we can choose our attachment. At this point, I usually select both of these layers and just move them into position a little bit better. That way I've got room up here for my attachment. And let's grab a tape first so you can see what that looks like. So create a brand new layer. Let's grab a color for our tape. I'm going to use this darkish reddish pink color. And let's grab tape number two. And then once again, you can just tap with your finger and move it into position and rescale as needed. If you'd like to use a thumbtack or a push pin instead, we can turn off that layer, create a brand new layer. If you'd like a silver thumbtack, make sure that your color is set to a gray. If you set it to black, you won't get any of the detail in the thumbtack or the push pin. So I usually come over here, since these are my grays, I come right around the middle here. And then we can grab any thumbtack we want and all of them include a shadow for extra realism. So let's grab push pin 04 right here and just tap on the screen and there's our thumbtack. If you want it a little bit darker, that one seems a little light to me, just drag it into a darker gray and then tap again and that feels just right. So now we can move this into place and then rescale as needed to match the proportion. If you'd like a different style, we have plenty to choose from. This one's more of a straight on version of our push pin. And then I'll show you the thumbtack too. This is the thumbtack, so it's going to be a round head and shinier. And we can rescale as needed. And let's just grab one more of these that has a big shadow on it. I'm grabbing the first one and moving that into position. Okay, once you have your thumbtack and your shadow and your frame, now you can fill this with color. So there's two different ways that you can fill your Polaroid with color. I have a preference and I'm going to share both of these. So the first way would just be coming to your frame layer and then dragging whatever color you would like to fill it with and then you've got your color all filled in. Another way that I like to do it, let me undo that, is create a brand new layer, drag it right underneath the frame layer and use a painting brush or a mono weight brush and just draw the shape behind it and then fill that with color. And that way you have a layer of color that's separate from the frame. So if you ever wanna put like lettering behind it, you can keep it going straight to the edge without having to worry about erasing exactly along the edge. So that's a really easy way to put your messaging or illustration within your frame. So the same exact process can be applied to the other frames that we have. We have a thin frame and a thick frame. So I'll just show you what those look like. Let me grab the white 
And so this is our thick frame, and then here's our thin frame. Uh, I will show you how to do this with the thin frame. So let me just drag this over. I want to show you the different shadow types. So create a brand new layer. I'm going to grab black. And then let, we already did shadow number one, so I want to show you what shadow number two looks like. This one has a curve to the bottom. So it looks like it's lifting up in the middle. And remember, just drag that behind the frame. And then you have an instant shadow. The last shadow is shadow number three. Once again, just make sure it's the same brush size as your frame. Stamp it, and then move it into position. So this one, the edges of the shadow, instead of extending beyond the corners of the frame, it stops short of the corners of the frame. So put that right into position, and then you're all set. And you can see how it gives that illusion like it's lifting up. So that's a quick demo of using the Polaroid Maker Brushes in Procreate.